the IPCC is a political organisation, not a scientific one. In writing the summary for policymakers, which seems to be the only part governments read, each sentence of that document is dictated by the policymakers, not the scientists. They go through each sentence and amend as they wish. Well, so what is the result of this? In this political summary, it is claimed that since the last report, weather extremes have strengthened. And in particular, the heat waves, heavy downpours, droughts and hurricanes. So let's examine that last one, hurricanes. It is simply not true because in the same IPCC 6 report in the scientific papers, the actual paper states there should be a 25% reduction in hurricane frequency and a 5% increase in intensity. This deception relies on the fact that governments do not read the 4,000 scientific papers, but just the summary for policymakers, a political document. The IPCC and the politicians of the world are using extreme weather, not climate. A hundred years ago, in 1921, as just one example, and there are many, we had record heat waves, far more intense than any today. In fact, extreme weather was far worse when CO2 levels were very much lower than today. Today, we actually have less deaths and less problems with extreme weather than in history. For example, taking the acreage of forest burnt in America over the last century, it was far greater, up to 10 times more in the past than it is today. But actually, the forestry people in America have now deleted the old data. It is not this year's heat wave or this year's flood. You have to look at these things as a pattern over a minimum of 30 years. And here, for example, we have the frequency of hurricanes decreasing over time. The simple facts are that today we suffer less from natural disasters than at almost any time in history. Our politicians and mainstream media are all part of this mega deception on the world. I ask you not to be fooled. For a much more in-depth understanding, visit the For Britain website, Forward Stroke Climate, and look at my seven videos explaining the basics of the climate change fraud.